Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is August 26th, and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. Check out the low pressure system off the coastline here. We'll continue to send impulses up across the area here for the next few days, and then this trough will try to kick up across the region, bringing a cool down, but also a lightning threat even west of the Cascades. We'll take a look at those details here in a moment. This is looking at some lightning strike activity as of yesterday morning. I think after this graphic was made, there was a few more strikes here north, but look at western Oregon down southwest Washington, east slopes the Cascades, and it may not be readily apparent immediately as to how many of these lightning strikes caused fires. Sometimes it can take a day or two for some of these fires to ramp up. Heads up for that. This is Seattle yesterday. It started off nice and cool, but we did get up to 86, two hundredths of an inch of rain as well. Another warm day on tap again today, as you can see here with the heat advisory across much of western Washington, all the way up to Skagit and Whatcom County there as well. Look at Pendleton, Oregon, East Oregon, Eastern Washington, same thing here, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday, nice warm days. Then you'll definitely feel a cool down as we go through Tuesday and Wednesday as this trough kicks through the area, bringing a thunderstorm threat with it as well. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station, it's got a lightning detection system with it as well. It's all solar powered. It stores a lot of data for you in the cloud. I clicked on this random station here in Bonnie Lake, picked up lightning yesterday, 20 miles away. You see it rained 12 hundredths of an inch and it rained for about 123 minutes there. So very fun to watch as the storm is in progress. Looking at the surface smoke, not much improvement here for the most part as we go through the weekend. Little bit of hope here as we go through Monday for some areas up across some of the Puget Sound and some of the Willamette Valley here. But yeah, still got plenty of smoke across the area and across the central Oregon Cascades and southwest Oregon. I feel sorry for you out there. I know how it is when you're dealing with the smoke nonstop. And BC, of course, has been dealing with fires all fire season so far. Look at that unhealthy air across the Puget Sound, Willamette Valley, southeast Oregon there. And you can see eastern Oregon, Idaho, not doing too bad. Montana, unless you're around one of those fires. This is looking at the last few days. You can see the very poor air quality we had several days ago. And then we got better for a couple days. And now we've been going through the slow, steady decline here over the last few days. So hopefully we can improve that as we go on in through next week and that trough moves through. Now here's a comparison, the European on the left versus the GFS on the right. And you can see the impulse moving up across the area this morning. Can't roll out a thunderstorm across the Washington Cascades as well. And then we got another impulse as we go through Monday morning. And then that kind of continues on here as we go through Tuesday morning. Look at the precipitation, a slug of precip here that the European brings across some of western Washington up through southwest BC. This would be associated with thunderstorm activity. And then that kicks through across the area, bringing some much needed rainfall here. So let's hope that precipitation can offset some of the lightning strikes and the fires that get caused by those lightning strikes. Here's the last night's European run, lightning flash density potential. There goes this morning's complex of storm across eastern Oregon, maybe up to the Washington Cascades. A few more minor impulses move across the region here. I'm speeding ahead until we get towards Monday night here. Watch this signal come across western Washington here. And you want that flow to be slightly south-southeast here to bring those storms back across the Puget Sound if you are a thunderstorm lover here. But a pretty good signal on last night's European run, southwest BC as well. And then you can kind of see that pivot across the Cascades up into BC, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana here. As we go through the day Tuesday and the trough moves through the area, really cooling everybody down on top of that. This is looking at up towards 18,000 feet, 500 millibars. This is the temperature. So you can see that cold air. This is the storm system off our coastline there. Kind of pinwheeling, taking a sweet time. Then it starts to kick through the area as we go through Monday night into Tuesday. And that's when we'll feel the cool down. But yeah, so definitely going to have some thunderstorm potential with it here as we go through the day on Monday on in through Tuesday. And this is looking about 10,000 feet here as well. So you can clearly see the winds, a southerly defluent flow across the area here can help bring some of the thunderstorm activity back across portions of western Washington, Vancouver Island, southwest BC, of course the Cascades and on in through eastern portions there. And you can kind of see that little bit of a negative tilt there out of the southeast as we go through the day Monday. Will it happen? <laughs> We're going to have to go down to the wire as always here with these thunderstorm activities here across places west of the Cascades. We'll be watching it closely. And look at today, actually a marginal risk with some wind being the main threat there across some eastern Oregon out towards Boise, Idaho here as well. So that's day one. There's day two. And then day three, look, the SPC picking up on that thunderstorm potential here for western Washington. Can't rule out Portland, Olympic Mountains, Cascades up through southwest BC as well. Interesting stuff coming up here, folks. This is looking at total precipitation in inches. This is 12Z GFS. You can see some of these impulses moving up over the area here as we go through tomorrow morning. 
Let's go ahead and speed ahead towards Monday. And you can kind of see it's picking up some of that precip across western Washington, southwest BC. And it's a trough moves across the area here, dropping some nice amounts across some of the areas. But you see, yesterday it had higher amounts across eastern BC here. So you don't want to see that, but it's definitely a downtrend. And then as you go off through the extended forecast, it wants to drop a trough down the coastline here. But kind of fantasy at this point, hoping for some nice precipitation amounts here with this trough dejecting across the region. Now, this is daily two meter max temperature. Look at some of these temperatures, southwest Washington. Washington up into the 90s. Willamette Valley, Portland, you can get up towards 95 today as well. Very warm. Another very warm day tomorrow. Seattle, 87. Check it out. Portland up towards 90 again. And then the cool down starts Monday. You'll feel it a bit. 79, still some 80s for the Willamette Valley, but look by Tuesday. Maybe not getting out of the 60s for Seattle here in eastern Washington, Oregon, cooling down dramatically, kind of hanging around with that cool down here on Wednesday. But then we bounce back a little bit by the time we get towards Friday. You'll see the warm up coming here as we go towards next weekend. But it's purely fantasy right now. But yeah, maybe some hope for a nice weekend coming up next week. This is looking at six to 10 day temperature probability outlook here. Just kind of a slightly above average signal here across Pacific Northwest. Six to 10 day, and the above average signal remains. You see some of these fires ongoing right now. I saw this one in the visible. What is that? The Camp Creek there off to the east of Portland. Looks like it was bringing some smoke out there this morning. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and check this Western Fire Chiefs website out, you can see all these fires and it gives you individual detail about these fires as well. And BC, of course, continues to burn. Record setting amount of acreage burned here across the entire country. So yeah, heads up for that. But anyway, yeah, we'll go over this again tomorrow. It's going to be interesting to see how the model runs trend because... It, uh, anybody who's lived here for any length of time can tell you it's very tough to get thunderstorm activity west of the Cascades or things have to line up just right to do so but it does happen from time to time here so crossing your fingers you know if you like these thunderstorms here we definitely got a good shot of it Monday night into Tuesday morning across the region so we'll watch that one closely we'll do this again tomorrow hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you guys then